non-bonding interactions. In this section, I will describe types of bonding interaction. You will learn about non-bonding interactions and credit their properties based on the non-bonding interaction present in a molecular material. Interaction between atoms is non-bonding interaction. Some call it secondary bond. But I like to use the non-bonding interaction because the bond form are not actually bond. It is an interaction that occurs between molecules and molecules. Example, this is water molecules. Non-bonding interaction do not result from sharing electrons. They occur because attraction between partial charge that are present in molecules. That is why the bonds are much weaker than uh, primary bonds such as covalent bonds, ionic bonds and metallic bonds. There are three types of non-bonding interaction. Hydrogen bond, permanent dipole and induced dipole. Hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond is the attractive force between hydrogen attached to an electronegative atom of the one molecule of an electronegative atom from a different molecule. Usually, the electron electronegative atom is oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine which has partial negative charge. This is the strongest non-bonding interaction. Commonly, it is called a bond, but it is not a primary bond. It is a non-bonding interaction. Permanent dipole. This bond occurs when a very electronegative atom forms a covalent bond with a less electronegative atom resulting in partial positive and negative charge in the molecule. The partial charge on this molecule can interact with the partial charge on another molecule forming a permanent dipole interaction. Induced dipole. This type of interaction is formed by random fluctuation in the electron's distribution in atom. A random fluctuation results a partial positive and negative region on an atom. The charge that are randomly created on this atom can attract or repel attraction, uh, repel electrons on a nearby nearby atom, resulting a weak attraction between the atom. Induced dipole interaction are also called on the walls forms. Another atom undergoes just separation induced by fluctuating dipole of atom B. Normally, we can ignore induced dipole interaction if other types of non-bonding interaction are present. Let's study methane molecule. One carbon atom and four hydrogens. Covalent bonds connect the atoms in the molecules. Carbon-hydrogen covalent bond is considered non-polar because the electrons shared by the adjacent atom bonds are shared equally. Thus, there is no just separations or dipole moment. Interaction that occur between methane molecule and other methane molecules are induced dipole interactions. Since there is no charge in the covalent bonds, this molecule cannot enter into a charge interaction with water. Therefore, methane is hydrophobic. In contrast, water has different properties with methane. It is because 
with the primary bond is covalent bond while non-bonding bond is hydrogen bond an important distinction between primary bond and non-bonding interaction is how they are used to define chemical compounds primary bonds define compounds for example water is considered a single molecule because the three atoms that make up water are held together by primary bonds in contrast non-bonding interactions define the interaction between molecules based on the type of compound the factor that determines material properties is either primary bonds or non-bonding interaction compound formed from ionic or metallic bonds have their properties determined by the primary bonds because in these compounds all atoms are connected through primary bonds for most molecular compounds that are formed from individual atoms connected by covalent bonds the property are determined by non-bonding interactions the reason is that the covalent bonds define distinct molecules that interact with other molecules only through non-bonding interaction however there are some exceptions for some materials with covalent bonds the properties are determined by the presence of those covalent bonds for example in diamond the carbon atoms are connected through a network of covalent bonds this means diamond structure can be changed by only breaking the covalent bonds let's examine chloromethane one carbon atom and three hydrogen atom and one fluorine atom primary bonds present in chloromethane is covalent Non-bonding interaction present in chloromethane is permanent dipole interaction. Chloromethane has a higher boiling point than methane because non-bonding non-bonding interaction are stronger in chloromethane. Chloromethane requires more energy to break the interaction and separate molecule to form a gas. If primary bonds in methane for example break degradations of burning occurs while in water when water boils the primary bonds do not change but the non-bonding interactions broken to recap the electronegativity has an important influence on materials properties electronegativity affects atoms interactions and affects both primary bonds and non-bonding interaction resulting in turn affect the properties properties of material are not only boiling point as i have discussed here the concept you have learned in this section can be expanded to explain other engineering properties such as stiffness, thermal expansion, and etc. The connection among electronegativity, bonding, and properties demonstrate an important aspect of material science and engineering.